Hi and welcome to the Adam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Azam with another screencast. And in this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can edit the settings file and store your settings in the settings file uh, in your iPhone application and then how you can retrieve the settings that you have stored. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with the settings, uh, simply run your on your uh, iPhone and click on the settings and you will see different applications like Twitter, Safari Photos and if you click on Twitter over here you will see that this these settings basically provide you with username and password so you can store the username and password over here and then it will be authenticated when you launch this particular app and if you want to change it you can simply change it at one place and then it will be authenticated again okay so we're going to do something very similar now it's pretty easy uh, all you need to do is to include a settings file and that can be done by just clicking over here saying new file and click the resource category and then select settings bundle so when you select the settings bundle it will include a couple of files but the most important file is a root.plist the, the file that you're looking at right now and it opens up in the design view but you can always uh, double click on it and say open as source code uh, which will open it uh, in the form of XML document which is much more interesting because now you see what's going on behind the scene okay um, wow my Xcode again crashed so this is like maybe the tenth time it has actually crashed uh, let me open it again uh, it's this is uh, becoming uh, to be one of the most hardest uh, videos to create uh, because it has already crashed like maybe 10 times so uh, hopefully it will get uh, done I mean it's just a five minute video but I think it's been uh, maybe one hour trying to uh, trying to see that it doesn't uh, you know doesn't crash so this is a file and if if I run this right now if I run this application uh, not by changing anything this is a that's a default thing and if I go over here in settings you will see that it has already created a GCD Twitter category or a setting for the application name um, and uh, this is because the application name is GCD Twitter and if I go inside that it's going to create name and the switch uh, and then a slider okay and every one of these are, are actually controls uh, that you can basically access and do different stuff so this is all created by this particular XML file and I'm just going to show you how you can access and input the name okay uh, so the name over here well a couple of things over here in this XML file is that each item is a dictionary and inside the dictionary is a key value pair uh, a key is basically a, a you know different type of attributes like auto capitalization type and the va string is a value which is none so key value key value key value but remember that the ID of the particular element that you have on the settings the ID is called key also so that's kind of uh, you know uh, so the key for the ID of the element is key but the value is name preference uh, and we are going to use this particular value like the name preference to uh, retrieve it before even retrieving it inside the app delegate uh, you have to create the method called initialize and basically what it does it goes to the settings.bundle root.plist file and it basically loads the preference uh, specifiers section which is the NS mutable array it iterates through it and then kind of like initializes all the settings that you have okay You're using all the keys that you have it initializes it with the default value if it has a default value it initializes it okay so after you have done that, and I'll show you, you can where you can download this code, so you don't have to worry about it. But after you have done that, uh, we have this view controller. This will get fired, okay? And let's go ahead and first stop the app. So now, if I want to, and let me actually show you the UI. So I have username and password, okay? And uh, so username, I'm just going to store it in the place of name. So over here, NS user defaults, and then UD equal to 
uh, NS user default, uh, standard user defaults. And uh, you can say UD, um, what is that, set value for a key. And then in this case, the value that we are setting is basically defined in this username dot text. And the key is inside the XML file, which is a root.plist, and it is name underscore preferences, right? And once you have set up this value, you need to synchronize it. So you just call the synchronize method, and that will actually synchronize the values. Let's go ahead and build this. Okay. Uh, one thing you should also do when you're testing these things is always uh, go ahead and reset the content and settings so that you will make sure that there are no content and settings when uh, you know, you're testing for saving of content and settings. So I'm just going to load. I'm just going to say over here, John Doe, password, whatever. I don't really care. I'm just going to say save now. Okay. And let's go ahead and see if it's it has saved or not. And you can see that the name is now John Doe. So you can, uh, you know, you can access those values or you can save those values from the user interface into the settings category. But what about reading the values? So you have already saved this value and reading is actually pretty simple also because all you need to do is to say user uh, NS user defaults uh, UD equal to uh, NS user defaults and uh, standard user defaults and then you can say uh, UD um, you can say value for key but I believe that there is some else which is string for key. You can use a string for key and then again you can say name preference and uh, you can simply log out the value okay and uh, let's go ahead and run this so now it should uh, show us a value when we load the so here we go uh, I don't think you can see it, but let me, here we go. So you can see the John Doe over here. So it's coming from, uh, you know, that particular key that we set in the user defaults. So it's always a good idea to use settings and not overcrowd your application itself with the settings or configuration screens. So if you have settings, if you have the attributes and properties you need to set up, it's always a good idea to use the settings that is provided, that's a space that is provided by Apple to you. Um, let me actually show you the article I was talking about. So article is, article ID is 813813 and it's hosted on highoncoding.com and it's a detailed article on how to use these things, how to store the settings and everything. Okay, and uh, in the end there's a bonus section which is uh, refreshing the settings out of suspended state. Uh, check it out and, uh, you know, check out the article and everything. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, um, if you have liked this video, if you think this video is helpful and if you want to help me out, uh, I suggest you go to iTunes and download my game, Kinder Pop. It's only for 99 cents. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you buy it, please, please, please rate it and also write a good review uh, that will you know I really appreciate it and uh, that's pretty much it so I uh, hope you like this video thank you very much if you do have any suggestions any comments you can always email me at azamsharp at gmail.com azamsharp at gmail.com uh, thank you very much